What's going on boys and girls, what's going on internet, it's your boy Bridical, and welcome back to another episode of the Rumblecast. Today we have our man, the boy, the legend, and you know, the person you probably tuned into this podcast to watch, you got our boy, Warlord? Warlord? There is no Warlord here, there is only <sighs> Monkey. Legion. Oh god, there right. Is, there and... is only, there is only Monkey! <laughs> Monkey! <laughs> And we got our boy, the mad lad, the absolute legend, Fintan Majora. Fintan. God. God. Damn it. Sorry, Rewind, you have to censor my swearing, but for fake Fintan. Anyway. Sorry, um. Sorry I had to really rip one. <laughs> Alright then. So, with everybody introduced. Okay, so with everybody introduced. You Let's get on. Crib switch. Oh I... right, he's here. I oh sh I thought I thought for a second we'd get away with that. Then I thought I'd get away with the funny. Get here. Oh, look, oh, as much man. as I want, as much as I want to say the thing, creep did. As much as I want to say it, let's be honest here. I don't want another joke that just ended that end. That'll end up like warlords or fintans. So let's just move on. <laughs> creep is here. Creep is here. He exists. Moving on. Today in the Rumble Podcast, we're doing a much more casual approach. We'll still be obviously answering questions. For instance, various matchups that will be that you guys have requested in the official Animation Rewind Discord, in the official Animation Rewind Cartoon Fight Club Discord server. It's the Cartoon Fight Club Discord server, and I called it the Rewind Rumble Discord server. It's just the Animation Rewind server. The the the, the, the Animation Rewind server and. We will be asking half of them. We've decided to Thanos snap them and the other half will be told by whichever group ends up doing it next time. We will also be mixing in a few subjects of our own so we can make things a bit more spicy. You know what I mean? God bless you. So, rather than rather than going on about the expository banter, let's go on and ask everybody how they're doing today. First of all, we'll start with Creep, the person I ignored. Creep, how are you doing? You realize Rewind has to censor that, right? Good job. Are you proud of yourself? <laughs> uh, I'm counting on it. Rewind I, re Rewind, I don't know if you can add this. And if you can't add this, keep it in. Or because somebody in the comment section can actually, do it. Why, but actually, please keep a does, swear counter. Why does he what? No, no, hold on, hold on. Why does he censor stuff? Because he lets us swear in Rewind Rumble main core. Why doesn't he let us swear in the podcast? Because we're not doing it because in because in the episodes where because in the episodes it's for comedic effect. For this one, it's basically just our run. No, the characters. we're being funny. We're being funny. You're not funny. <laughs> Fu <laughs> oh, oh, they're fighting. They're fighting. Wait, <laughs> it's time to rewind Rumble. <laughs> oh my God! You're oh, right. Yeah. Anyway. Oh yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, maybe if we disguise this as an episode of Rewind Rumble, we can say, we can say the f word. No. No. Just no. Anyway. Creep Switch. How you doing? Oh, you've already said the thing. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You asked me. Ask the other one. Finton Majora. Hi. I'm actually doing, I'm actually doing pretty well myself. I, d I didn't say how you doing, I just said hi. Oh, hi. Hi. How you doing? How's your withdrawal symptoms? How do you know about them? How? <laughs> I know everything. Oh my god. I'm, I'm, I'm doing well myself. <laughs> yeah. And Warlord, you know, you, you say so, you, you, you know what I'm about to ask. You know the rules and so do I. Go ahead. How's your day going? <laughs> Well, first off, I'm sore as all hell because I've started out my workouts again, <laughs> and uh, I'm a I'm a little excited because I've I've got a I've got a couple a couple animation projects planned up. Hmm. Nice. Is that all? Yes. <clears throat> Well, uh, that's all. That's all I can think of. Um, unless you want to talk about the person that I locked in my basement. Uh, nah, I think that because I don't think it looked it looked good on rewind that his staff keep people locked in the basement. Unless it's, uh, uh, unless it's Frankie. Shut up, Joey! 
<laughs> you know, it's, it's funny you say that. Even it's, it's funny that you say that, even though you're talking about it more in explicit, explicit detail. Yeah, I, I, I sh- shut up. Anyway, let's move <laughs> on to the actual podcast. Today, we have selected a few topics that we would like to bring up of recent or just of of recent relevance, or you know, just the fact that it's it's something to talk about, or just something we feel like talking about. For instance, the first subject we've got on our list and our agenda today is the Pokemon remakes. Recently, Nintendo. Because, yeah. yeah, because pretty much, the, well, aside from Creep. <laughs> I mean, I put po- I mean, I still play Pokemon. I just don't. I'm just not a big enthusiast like you guys. Yeah. So <laughs> recently, in one of their most recent Pokemon directs, Nintendo revealed that they are not only remaking Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Well, they're not remaking it; they're shifting it to the middleman. But they are also making an open-world Breath of the Wild-style Pokemon game called Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is a, a overworld RPG Breath of the Wild-style Pokemon game, which actually involves you going wait, around wait, into yeah, the okay. wild and catching Pokemon. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's save that for later, and let's talk, talk. Say what the other topics are. Uh, I mean, I mean, no, we'll, we'll, we'll save them for later. We'll we'll we'll, 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 we'll save the other topics for later. Except, okay. just note that we all we have our opinions on a certain current topic and current idea YouTube have. <clears throat> okay, th- thanks, for, thanks for the foreshadowing. <laughs> Alright, uh, so, uh, so, uh, Pokemon Diamond Pearl, everyone is baby now. Every, all the characters okay, are Okay, okay, uh, hold, hold on, before we start, we, 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 gotta talk, we gotta talk about the submissions that the fans made. No, we're doing those in no, between after, the subjects, after. remember? After. You're the one oh, who made the schedule. I, 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 no, oh, no, no. Remember, um, remember before we start with the fans, we're doing hours because I mentioned that we should we should be huh. allowed to do hours. Okay, own. but let's talk Pokemon first. I, d- I no, no. Okay. I, I actually Bro. screwed up on the script here. It actually did say that we were supposed to talk about e- each of us were meant to bring up one matchup. We don't <laughs> think will happen, but would like to have. Up. Why do you f- up? Because it's me, it's natural, it happens, okay? We roll okay, with it. Uh, okay, uh, uh, what will never happen? Um, okay, okay, so, a- uh, okay, so remember, remember, I mentioned that we could, we could talk about one or two matches if, if, we, if we so desire. Hey guys, I know a match that's never gonna happen. Toph versus Terra. Ah! Oh, oh. <laughs> no, Frank will just bully AR until it happens. Yeah, so, we, we no, no, what do you have to... <laughs> oh, Hold on, that's gonna get cut out. That's gonna get cut out. That's gonna get sense, cut out. Sir. Oh no. Don't worry, Frank. Okay, but... we're, Frank, we're, we're, Frank, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. We're doing it as a joke, dude. It, we love it, you, it, will, it will probably end up happening. Give it time. It's just, let's be honest here, it's gonna take a while. Why are you booing me? I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So legit though, episodes of Rewind Rumble or Cartoon Fight Club that aren't gonna happen only in our imagination. Anything that Frank. Uh, okay. Uh, episodes that won't happen. Anything that uh, Frank doesn't want. I'm pretty Damn. sure. Damn. That that that's pretty deep, dude. That's also. I don't agree. Sure. I don't. I don't think that's true because I'm pretty sure we got some episodes through lately that Frank didn't what? 100% understand. Maybe, maybe that was the joke. Maybe that was a joke. Yeah, but the joke's also going to get cut out. Meaning, I reckon if we keep up this kind of attitude, half the episode's gonna get cut out, and it'll actually do Rewind a favor when he's uploading it. <laughs> uh, right, he's the one with true power. I got nothing. I don't. All right. Well, Lord, you got any ideas that Rewind's probably never gonna do? Or is it a matter of you're just so genuinely intelligent that Rewind's just gonna come up use any idea you come up with anyway? Well, so so that this is this is the weird thing because with a lot of the ideas that I want, if I want them to happen, there is a good chance that it's just going to happen at some point. So there isn't really any ideas that I want to happen that I know that won't, but there are some ideas that I just literally random ideas that I know aren't going to happen because, uh, well, they're, uh, they're bad. Uh, the... <laughs> Listen here, you little piece of crap. Right. 
I will shove my foot so up so far. Rewind, you can cut this out and put a five minute later thing. <laughs> we'll just skip to what episode fra what episode Warlord wanted. <laughs> yeah, so Evil's the fun one of the group. Um anyway. Uh keep that part in though. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> anyway, the uh the fight is going the fight that is going to be the uh the fight he said is the stunts is drum roll please no just say it actually okay on rewind rumble right okay i'm gonna speak i'm gonna, a, I, I'm, gonna on. I'm going to ask oh, in a au sans royal rumble okay oh, so basically oh oh i see i, see, I know what you mean so basically sans Sans versus Sans, basically. Uh, <laughs> oh I'm no! I'm sorry, but I know Rewind. I know Re Cartoon Fight Club used to have a massive thing for Sans, but I don't think I've ever seen a Cartoon Fight Club where it's Sans versus Sans. I, I <laughs> don't I give Rewind that like, idea. No, 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 there definitely has been one. Yeah, there has. Bill yeah, Sands I... versus Freddy Sans. There was also Ink Sans versus um, Computer Edgy Sans, whatever the hell his name was. Uh. I don't all really know. All that literally came out at the same time because people were look were taking a look and saying, "What edgy palette can we give this guy?" Like, there's one where Sans's head is split open and his eyes are bleeding, and, and he's got a cleaver. Uh, there are other ones where he's like got paint brushes and he fights with by like, smacking you with them, and uh, yeah. Wait, do you guys hear that? No, they're about to do that. God. Think we're gonna get copy striked. No, we're not. I don't, no, we, no, we're not. Megalovania okay, isn't copy. Megalovania doesn't give out copyright strikes. Because it's stop. a meme. Creep, actually, stop, please. Okay, right. Sorry. So, I'm gonna mention my one. Because my, my previous one was literally just a joke. Sorry, Frank. Um. <laughs> It's kind of a tie. One's just really weird. The other one's just also very weird. The first one is Daft Punk versus No Straight Roads Music Company. Daft Punk even still around? They've is split it? up. God, oh my God! Creep, please. actually stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Yeah, of course you did. Of course you didn't. And the second one is um, actually Epic Mickey versus an Inkling. Agent Three versus Epic Mickey. That, that's actually. Oh, I see. I see where you're going with it. That's actually interesting. I would have said. Um, uh, I, I was gonna. The original idea was. Uh, ben was the was one of the people from Bendy the Ink Machine, but I thought, nah, let's put an Inkling in there to add a bit of color to the actual fight. It's just. We have an Inkling versus Bendy. Yeah, we have. We have that. Fight club. Yeah, we had that. I just but, want, I just want this, Epic Mickey because it's a lot more paint themed, and I don't want to use <laughs> Paper Mario Color Splash because f that. If, if if I remember anything from Epic Mickey, there is some pre insane feat that they have, so I'm pretty sure Epic Mickey would win that fight. Yeah, that's pretty true. Okay, so speaking of Fainton guessing who'd win each fight, Fainton. Wait, why not Epic Mickey versus uh Pink Sand? No. Pinton, go ahead. <laughs> for, for my fights, there's actually been been one fight I've wanted to do ever since I was introduced to a particular anime and a game. I'm not sure if you actually heard of these characters, but one fight I really do want that I know Cartoon Fight Club, Reborn Rumble, or even Death Fighter won't do is Demi Fiend versus the versus Devilman Cry Baby. Hmm. Right, I haven't heard of those. Yeah, Devilman Cry Baby is, is one of those um pretty fucking insane anime is that it has an interesting art style but it's they very both gory the same, right they both follow the same yeah but they, but they both follow the same context human beings are turned into demons and now they're tasked to kill other demons and there's a lot there's a lot more deep deeper meaning to that and there's actually a fight mm. i would really love to see yeah can devil man cry baby i've like i like the art style of but personally i'm more of a fan of the uh i, th I don't know if it's the same art style or same company but i prefer the castlevania netflix anime to be honest and and, I, uh, and, the, and the best part of the fight is, is actually rather close 
for who wins, it can go either way, but, but my hands are on the demi thing. I'm personally just mentioning because you mentioned that fight. I want to say that another one I had an idea for, but wasn't going to bring up until you brought that up, was Trevor Belmont from the Castlevania anime versus uh, John Constantine from DC. That way, we're not going to do just another generic Marvel versus DC fight. But Ooh. both of them are demon, literally demon hunters, and fight for, fight the bowels of hell and fight demons from the bowels of hell in order to keep the living world balanced. But are also oh, yeah. equally hated by there. the very people they protect. Vampire hunter versus vampire hunter. I, I, I like I like the idea actually. Why then? Why not throw Spawn in there? Uh, we've already got a DC character in this. I just decided to go for John Constantine because I want to see a, junk, a drunk Scottish mo- a demon Did hunter you fight. Did you just say Don is DC? Spawn is DC? I thought Spawn was DC. No. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, that explains why he looks like Spider-Man then. Probably from that time period when they used that character <laughs> a lot. J- just saying, Spawn is Dark Horse Comics, not Marvel, or not technically Marvel or DC, just Dark Horse Comics. Hmm. Thank you. But the reason and I want the reason I wanted to say John Constantine versus Trevor is because they both get drunk as fuck. <laughs> anyway, Creep, your turn. Creep said he didn't have any matches at all. Really? Yeah. Okay. In that so, case. So, so anyways, yeah, let me go. Let me talk to my other one. The other one, the other one, um, Death Rider has actually used this character, but we haven't. Although the other character has never been used, and it's, and it's like Ryuko Matoi from Kill a Kill versus I- I'm gonna butcher his name, Issei Hiodo from uh, High School X High School. I've only ever heard of one of those purely because one of my friends is obsessed with Kill a Kill and because of the latest Death Battle. Okay, but- so um, High School X High School is. A very 18 plus anime that little kids do not watch, so children in the audience do not watch it. But oh, essentially, they follow, they follow the same pr- premise. The main character is infected by this parasite slash um, other creature that pretty much takes over their body, and they're able to use that creature to, as a weapon. They're both in high school. So I was like SCP 5000, that's my first point. And for second point, I mentioned this in our very first podcast. I would rather use a different studio trigger character than. A kill a kill character. I'd rather use friggin' BNA, as I've said. Or or a commie. That, that could work too. Uh, I personally prefer K- BNA. I want to see somebody I from BNA. I have no clue either of them are. Of course you don't. You don't watch the only anime you watch is the power creep anime, where people get strong well, incredibly quickly, and for no good reason sometimes. Exactly. Anyways, let's move on to topic one for now. That Pokemon remakes. Yes, that way we have more to talk Everyone about. Is baby. Everyone is super small and baby. They bring back me- they're bringing back Mega Evolutions. I'm happy. Oh, they are. Yes, they are. <laughs> oh, oh, good. I get my Mega Gallade. I am happy. Or I'll go for Mega Gardevoir because recent events in the server. <laughs> gee, gee, I, gee, I wonder why. I, as I, I say that, as I look at your profile picture. Nobody look at my profile picture after this podcast, okay? It'll probably Everybody be an umbrella again. I'm, go- I'm, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell Air to um to flash the picture of your profile picture during the podcast. No, no, no. Yes. Rewind. Yes. No. You know the rules, and so do I. Say oh goodbye. <laughs> so, but yeah, when, when, when actually when I saw the the trailer for the Diamond Pro remakes. Before I actually saw the game itself, I was freaking out on the inside and I was like close to tearing up because all the happiness was filling with me until I saw the cheap and I was like, what the hell is this? I grew up, like I grew grew up with uh, Ruby and Sapphire, so I never really felt anything for Diamond and Pearl because I played Diamond and Pearl after I played Black and White. I, I, so. I mean, I, I get, I get what they're going for. They're trying to, they're trying to like um, replicate the actor Chibi Sprite from the original games, but it just, it looks like a mobile game. That's my problem. Maybe it well, is. Here's my thing. I am, I am actually okay with the art style, and that's probably because for the, for a good portion of. The, po- of the Pokemon Run, it's always had that uh, that kind of simplistic <clears throat> style added on to it, and I mean, it's I... not e- and it's not even like it stays like that during the battles. During the battles, then you get then you get back to what you're used to. But 
Now, if this if this is what the overworld is, plus the fact that I haven't gotten a chance to play Diamond and Pearl yet, you know, I don't really care about uh, if the art style is in that cheap if I mode or not. No. I mean, I, I, never, I, never, I never said I didn't like it, it just, it felt so weird to me. But but even even in the in battles, the character models, they look like plastic. They look, they look like a character from Toy Story. To be honest, I felt uh, the exact same issue with Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. We do not talk about those games. I talk about those games, they're actually really, no. do, they're actually very get dang good. They're fun, for, they're fun for one time, but afterwards, just like, I'm not gonna play this again. To be fair, almost every 3D Pokemon game, the characters look like plastic. I mean, I mean, this one—they look like hardcore Toy Story 4 characters. Toy yeah. Story 4 has uh, pretty damn good graphics. Whatever. Uh, yeah, you want about that weird, like, honest, like honest kind of, plastic. kind of reflective sheen they've got to their faces and stuff. Yeah, it, it looks, it looks so unnatural, or like they look either super oily or super plasticky. I actually like the art style. I'm in the middle ground for it, honestly, because it's just, it's just really weird to look at for me. For what it's worth, I the art style is is retro feeling, and it's rather than and besides the fact that it's trying to like redo the original feeling of the original versions of Diamond and Pearl. Bear in mind that this isn't even Nintendo making this; they're handing it off to a third party to make. Oh, that makes sense now. Hence why they're doing Mega Evolution rather than trying to do Dynamax, which to be honest would be very jarring. But do you know what this- uh, uh, One thing I'm actually really worried about is if, if they actually like decrease the difficulty in the game, since the, or, since the originals, they were actually rather difficult, surprisingly. If they retain like the difficulty, <clears throat> I will be incredibly <laughs> happy. I want a challenging Pokemon game and I don't want to have to go back and play Colosseum and XD Girl of Darkness twice again. I mean, like, I, I want I want a po challenging Pokemon game because I want a challenging RPG sometimes. And I know this is a kid's game, but I don't give a damn. I want at least something challenging because they know that not not just kids play the game. That adults, teenagers, pretty much all the demographics play the game. So they should at least offer an, op an option for the increased difficulty like, like they did with Black and White 2. If I want. Black and White 2 was Black peak and White difficulty. 2 only offer it after you finish the game. I, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, they actually do that, which is a bit, which is, which is not right. But if they offered it at the start, that would have been really cool. Yeah, I guess this thing like Pokemon Insurgents, they had the option to change the difficulty whenever they feel like it. You can either go easy mode for a fight that you know you're going to fucking hate, or you can go hard mode for the final boss because you hate yourself and you don't like, the and Ryukura isn't already busted enough as he is. So yeah, so yeah, like, so yeah, with the decreased difficulty possibility, I'm afraid the Cynthia's going to be walking apart. They've added Mega Evolution, meaning that the only way they're actually going to be able to keep this balanced is if they give you it reasonably later, and if they allow the first couple of gym leaders to ha that have it, to have it while you don't have it. So that way you actually still retain some form of challenge, and make it so you have to work for the Mega Stones, like go to the Sinnoh Underground and mine them, rather than just be handed to you via plot reasons. That's what ruined X and Y for me. Okay, so fun challenge. Do you think Cynthia is going to have Mega Garchomp or Mega Lucario? Mega Garchomp. Like yes, but at the same time, she also has various other Pokemon. Also, the question is, what team is she going to have? Is it going to be one based yeah, on Dabnum Garchomp Pearl or one is, based on like, Platinum? It's, it's, um, is like your most iconic that's, one, so. that's actually that's actually a good to question. Is it going to be based on Diamond Pearl or Platinum? Because if it's Platinum, then she's going to have a Togekiss, which is going to be even more annoying now that it's Fairy type. Oh, and, and, then, and then there's a Serene Grace Air Slash crap. Oh my god. I genuinely think that if they do this game right, it could be a genuinely challenging Pokemon game that Diamond and Pearl was in the past. I mean, to be honest, look at Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. They were cha they were reasonably challenging and were really fun. Auras had that same feel, except when you got Mega Evolutions, you were handed a free Latios, so the challenge went out the window. To, to be fair, to be fair, the introduction of Mega Evolutions alone. Can can actually like decrease the difficulty by a by a significant margin, unless unless they somehow turn that against you, and suddenly all the megas that you face are a lot more difficult to, than the original without the megas. To be honest, the only way they'd actually make megas work is they usually hand. It's like in Auras they handed you a mega stone for your starter, which 
unless they're actually physically making Mega Evolutions for your starter Pokemon, then there's no guarantee you could ever end up with any kind of Mega. Also, they could do what with Sun and Moon did, and save the Megas for the post-game, which would make the game still challenging, like Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon was. Even but, then, but they, didn't, like... they didn't save it for the post-game, they saved it for the fourth island, which was endgame enough as it was, and you had to deal with ult frigging Ultra Necrozma. That was surprisingly hard, I actually was not expecting that at all. I, I whited out twice from that sh I had a Zoroark though, so the third time round I was able to trounce it. Yeah, yeah, the moment you have a Zoroark is the easiest cake, especially if you know if you know, if you know how to do it, like having a, an, I believe it was a, uh, what was that, a fighting type with you? Uh, Psychic, I believe it was a ghost type you required. No, it wasn't no, a ghost no, type, I believe it no. was a Psychic type, because it used... It no, 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 it, no, it'll be fighting type because it'll be trying to spam it, it'll spam a Psychic type move and but can I hear you because you're Zora. Yeah, because it had that uh, Psychic type. I think its signature move was Psychic type and it kept trying to use it because it's its signature move. And because it, the, the values combined to make it constantly spam it. No, no, Necrozma versus Arceus. Necrozma would probably uh, win. Uh, ne Necrozma would, would get dis no, he would de get destroyed because ne Necrozma can absorb energy, yes, but he cannot absorb fourth dimensional energy at all. If it's in-game Necrozma versus in-game Arceus, then Necrozma stomps. Ultra okay, Necrozma okay, is too okay, busted. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because in in okay, in-game stats are completely different than from the canonical actual characters. Now, next up, I think we should talk about the elephant in the room, and that's the currently in works 3D open world Pokemon game that is Ar Legends Arceus. That really. Oh my fing gods. First of all. It's Bre Breath of the Wild, but Pokemon. Huh, that's just an original joke. You can find Torchic in the wild. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? I can still have my Mudkip in this game. Oh, and Hilda's gonna be- oh, and Hilda's definitely gonna be happy because Oshawott's here. The, the starter cruises are very interesting. It was like Syndico, um, Oshawott and Rowlet, right? Yeah. I, honestly, I think Rowlet has a key advantage here because it has the secondary typing. Yeah, I, I'm gonna choose Rowlet because I like owls. I, I, I love Syndico, but I love owls too. Wait, if this was in the ancient past and it was in Sinnoh, how come Rowlet and various Alolan Pokemon weren't known to Sinnoh Pokedexes? Because they decided to move to college. True. <laughs> they went the Blue's Clues route. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, not yet, not yet. We've only just moved on to this. Just we literally just started with the remakes. And. While, while some graphics, like some of the grass looks really weird, everything looks really nice, especially the fighting actually have rotation. You actually like see the outside world and the fighting in action. That's really cool. I like the fact that you well, can stealth Pokemon in order to go for surprise catches. Plus, you mentioned about the graphics and the grass looking weird. Uh, one Breath of the Wild has similar graphic. Cool. One Breath of the Wild has similar graphics for their grass, and especially did during their beta testing phase. Plus, they're in a development phase right now, probably about timing, where they can work on those graphics as they go along. They're probably in a beta area where it's solid enough for them to be able to reduce the pe the, the field of view, so that way it can work properly. And, and the fact that more than likely what they recorded was an earlier version than the current version that they've actually got, which is typically what most game uh, game companies will do when they're revealing a game. So for all we know, that could have been that could have been stuff that was recorded three six months ago, maybe up to a year. Yeah, and even up to the release of the game, they're gonna keep working on those graphics. So so YouTubers aren't really gonna have much to moan about in terms of that, which is the <laughs> only complaint I actually saw them have. You say YouTubers, but we all know you're talking about one. <laughs> No, I'm not naming his name because if he ends up watching this video, he's gonna know that I he's he's gonna <laughs> on a rant video. So if this but if this particular if this particular if YouTuber knows, he already knows. We challenge you to a boxing match. Shut up! Shut 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 shut, okay. shut up, Warlord. Anyway. Okay, but I re I do really like the I do really like the fact that you can actually sneak up on Pokemon and capture them. But also, I also don't like the fact that you might be capturing like an innocent family. So there's like a scenario where it's like, Happy birthday, Cyndaquil. You're turning five now. Thanks, mom. You're the best. Like, ah! <laughs> we already do that anyway. Yeah. Um, I love I mean, the art. Now you have to live with your. You I mean, have to live with it. 
I mean, you have to watch their eyes. I mean, the difference is like they're fighting you, then you get to capture them. But this one, you're sneaking up on them and kidnapping them from, from the families. Yeah. The only difference is that I'm seeing various. I mean, time could have gone by. You, we may even end up seeing some fossil Pokemon here. But my point is, I reckon we could. I reckon we could technically see Pokemon that we, we we've seen Pokemon that aren't from this region. But what would happen to Pokemon that are more developed for the times? Pokemon like Shellos and stuff like that, because they ended up migrating based on when Mount Coronet was formed. Are we going to be able to oh see my, stuff like that? Oh my God, the blue Shellos! I really want one. Uh, I think, it, it, yeah, you could catch them based on which side of the thing it was. Or at least that was the oh. canon thing, but you could only, but it depended on your version, I think. But there's only one version, so I think they're actually going to do it dependent on which side of the Mount Coronet yeah. you're going to be on. That'd be sick. That, that, would, be, that would be really cool, and I, I, just, I just want a blue shot. I just want that. It's so adorable and derpy. Yeah. Now, I believe we now have a responsibility to uphold because creep has already been echoing into our microphones the past couple of minutes when are we gonna do the community matchups all right all right we can do it right now we can't let this drag on too long yeah. i mean it, it, it hasn't yeah, been too long we went we went, we spent most of the time actually waiting for each other to be ready yeah specifically me because my computer is slow as hell yeah true it happens though always, it's always been time always been time Hey, hey. Anyways, um, I, I, I have the list of, I have the list of matchups from the community. So, I'm, <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna start off with Creeper Pasta from, from it. And this first matchup is well, a matchup that's been requested by a lot of people. SCP-682 versus Doomsday. SCP-682. Yep. What's that though? Is it wait? Is it the um thing that doesn't? Is it the weird statue thing? No, oh, SCP-682 is the is the is the reptilian that can't die and for some and somehow is one A. Are you on about the weird reptilian crocodile looking thing that has black hair and has a hatred towards humanity? Yes. Oh, I know about that thing. I've I've been watching SCP videos lately, so I know what you're talking about. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, what? this is a highly requested matchup. The thing and is, if it works off, you got one A. Okay, no. says that right. I, I've actually, I've actually seen the the evidence, and I'm that's, they're pretty solid. One pretty solid. Here's what, what, no, no, no. Here's what one A is. Okay. They're gone. Everything's gone. It owns the world. It owns the universe. It is the universe. It's not. Uh, okay, okay. They can to, use to loopholes to contain it, though. To, to, to elaborate, the true form is the, the the avatar. No. No, no. The true form is not. The fact that it needs an avatar to go to do anything is proof that it's not. The fact that its avatar itself is not unhurtable in any way, shape, or form, and has actually been damaged by other SCPs and has a fear of other SCPs proves that it's not. It is not a 1A. Okay, it may I, be a high I, it may be I, a I, higher I, dimensional I, being. But it is not one A. I still, okay, okay, I still okay, think okay, it could tank okay, dark side. Though maybe that maybe it's wank, but the two B arguments are are still rather solid. I'll say that at least. What I will say is one is known for being able to to one is known for having adapted to every time it died, implying that it has died. The other one literally can't die and literally just is an absolute being of incarnate destruction. I think I'm gonna go with the SCP here. Y yeah, Just based on context I, 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 have, I have to go with the SCP here because I've never seen anything Doomsday doing anything as insane as, as 682 did. It depends on what Doomsday you're using. If we're using like a, a pretty newly birthed Doomsday, like the one that beat Superman to death, then yeah, sure, I'll give it to the SCP. But if we're talking about the Doomsday that was around the end of the post-crisis comics where it was getting hit by fifth sixth dimensional reality warpers and because they killed him before they couldn't kill him again that one he might have a bit more of a problem with i i'd, I'd assume that we'd use a more fair version of doomsday in order to take that guy on because post crisis um doomsday having taken on so much bullshit is pretty much the most op doomsday we've got we'd have to find a middle ground in order to make even, it even, even even then, I cannot I cannot recall my memory, but 682 has had feats 
that actually that actually go way above the sixth dimension. I'm pretty sure the SCP Foundation also does have reality warpers who the who who they have got who the th who he's gone against. It's gone against. Yeah. SCP's weird. You get all these reality warpers, then you, then you just have a pizza box that turns into your favorite pizza and then you touch it. Yeah, yeah, that's why. That's why I don't. That's, that's hold, why. I, that's why I don't hold all of the SCPs as everything that said is factual because it got too many contradicting statements. So someone, like you heard with the whole. This SCP is definitely 1A. Okay, well then where does that leave the Scarlet King at? Hmm. Also the same tier, just in the higher concept. They've got, they've, God is one of the SCPs, for one. And for two, honest to God, no SCP in my mind can top in the endless Ikea, okay? Leave me alone. But, 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 yeah, but then, but but then yeah, you yeah. mentioned that God is, but then it'll bring up that, oh, but uh, this guy, he can... He's aging. He can forget. He's starting to forget memories. So obviously, like I said, there are so many contradictions and shit that goes into it. A lot of the people that make the SCPs, they typically have no con have no idea of the concept of a lot of higher dimensional things. So right. I have a feeling that a lot of the people that write them and will say, yeah, this guy, he's like, uh, he's like ninth dimensional and all of this. I have a feeling that most of these people have no clue what that, what that would even mean. All right. And well, well all I consider right. it okay, a okay. new point. We get it. We got okay, multiple okay, of a fight. Okay. But, so. Okay. Yeah. But okay. But yeah, Creep does have a point. While there's like SCPs, like, like an uncolorable creature, a literal God, a space anomaly, then pataphysical entities that we cannot even comprehend naturally. But then there are SCPs like Monkey. And Infinite Ikea. Infinite, yeah. Tickle, uh, Infinite Tickle Ikea. Monster. And a photo a photo a photographer that can literally capture on. locations. We have, moving, uh, we have mo eight other matches. Moving on. Remember we're trying to lightning lightning round this thing though. The other the other match I believe has been done by another channel is Suyo Asoi from My Hero Academia vs Greninja. 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 Yeah, Greninja that one. <laughs> Even if it, we, we will assume we that we'll, we'll, we'll assume. Are we talking popularity or is this actually versus? Because I just want Greninja because yeah, I like actually, Greninja. It's, it's, it's actually versus, not just popularity. Yeah, Greninja. Okay. What? What? No more. No more about that because I don't know much about my hair academia. All right, next one. Okay. The next one is from. Wow, what a coincidence! Music Greninja. <laughs> <laughs> Convenient. <laughs> Alex the Lion versus Otis the Cow. <laughs> Boo. And, and right yes. after that, he Funny. said, because, yeah, yes. right, after, right after that, he, he requested by saying, because I am unfunny. No, that is a yes. bit, that is a Indeed. good matchup. I am keep, we are doing that fight. You I don't what? give you a f We what? are doing it. You know what? Unironically, <laughs> this could be debatable. <laughs> I mean, Alex the, the Lion ended up having to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that. French police officer, didn't he? And she's pretty much busted. She can bring people back to life by singing opera. And she can fucking walk through walls like it's fucking a woman punching through I mean, butter. He didn't, re he didn't really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with her. Yeah, she, like, yeah, he just had to keep from her. Yeah, he had to keep from her. Like, it was a, with him, it was a, a fucking Mario game where the you're having to keep your distance. The penguins of Madagascar couldn't beat her. Oh, okay. oh no, okay, but, Rico. Okay, but I, will, I, will, I will say this, one thing I do know about them is that they're both subsonic, but Alex actually has a higher AP advantage. Oh no, Alex the lion beats the cow? I, yeah. hold on, hold on. Gee, I would, oh, gee, who I would not... a cow or a lion? Here's the thing, Alex is not exactly all there as a lion, as shown when he was actually, when he actually had to fight another lion. Oh wait! I just, I just, re I just well, realized he thought, he thought it was a dance. Oh. Even if he had fought, come on! Actually, wait a second. I think Otis actually has like better hacks, than, like mind manipulation. So this is actually, this is actually a, a debatable fight. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think, I think that Otis has a high, has higher strength and higher durability than Alex. I think that there's a good chance Otis could win. I think good, it honestly de it honestly depends if Alex is hungry at the time. Because if Alex is hungry, then you already know he's going to start going primal. 
Uh, okay, or, or, so while... Or, or he likes steak, so... Yeah, and... Wait, Odin's... he likes steak. What? Who's he fighting? A cow. What is a cow Literally a of? walking steak. But, Od but Otis... <laughs> that's the thing. Otis is walking. He ain't, he's not chopped up and thrown into it for free. No, th this is something where Alex would actually have to fight. And Otis... He actually knows how to fight predators. Right. Let's put a pin in this and hope that we can convince Rewind to turn this into an actual episode, okay? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, Anyways, I will gladly research this one. <laughs> yes. Anyway, um, the next the next fight from the same person is I think I think I think we actually planned on doing this one at some point, but we never really got to it. Mega Man vs. Gru. Mega Man vs. You mean Gru from Despicable Me? Yeah, Mega Mind vs. Gru. Mega Mind vs. Oh, I thought you said Mega Man. Did anybody else get that, Mega Man? I think Gru wins. And, uh, honestly, okay, while Gru does have like better fighting skills, Mega Man has the way, the far superior tech. Yes, because literally Are Gru. Are you sure about that? Yes. 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 He, he, he literally, he literally has. He literally ha- he literally ha- yeah, Groover's Meg Me 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 Have we done that If you want to talk traveling tech, then yes, he does. But if we're talking, like, tech that you want to use, like, one-on-one, -on -one, you know, if you, if you aren't traveling by okay. a ship. Okay. I actually think... disagree with you there, Warlord. I think- I think Megamind actually does have yeah. some tech that is actually pretty f***ing busted. He- he literally yeah, set yeah, up a yeah, doomsday yeah. device. He could just oh, yeah. activate his doomsday. Someone shrunk not, not... the moon and put it in their pocket. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, but does it, does it carry I that think, weapon I think, Mega, I think I, I think Mega Mind stomps, personally. I mean, okay, Mega like, Mind look stomps. At this. While, while I Gru, agree. While Gru, has, while, Gru has, while Gru has a freeze ray, Mega Mind has a, Mega Mind, Mind has, sorry, Mega Mind has a weapon that can literally turn you into like a little ice cube and can revert you back with water. Instantly. Basically seal you. Yeah. And it's instantaneous, too. Mega Mind too. dehydrates with dehydration gun. Boom, it's over. Yeah, um, Gru has I a lot think, more. I don't. Gru has more wacky tech. I don't think tech. you guys are giving Gru enough. I don't think you guys are giving Gru enough credit. Gru does have I, some I, I pretty mean, impressive feats, but I'm pretty sure Mega Mind's better tech and the fact that he can actually fund his tech, unlike Gru, actually gives him a bit of an advantage. Literally, what first. Do you mean literally. He can, what do you mean he can't? He can fund. Gru has a fucking army. <laughs> In terms it's of so in mind. terms of money, we have no money. Anyway, anyway, moving, moving on because that's also a very difficult subject. From it's... gelatin. Oh no. Gelatin. Wow. Oh my God. Okay, let's go. If it's cringe, I'm just gonna say skip. Bruce, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Creep, creep, yes. creep, creep. Shush, shush, shush. Let, let me explain this one, okay? Fintan versus Barney. They're one and the same. Uh, Barney is fin ones. Barney's Finton's uh, persona. Uh, all right. <laughs> but I, so, no, whoa, Barney, whoa, whoa, you don't understand. <laughs> I am Barney. I am fighting myself in this case. So, that is um, true. True. All right, well, I think the winner is us. I, I, I think the winner is us because we get to watch I it. Like gonna I think this is going to result. Okay, I feel like if we continue this, this is going to result in some not okay jokes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Our, okay. The strongest okay, but, enemy is in ourselves. Uh, I will say okay. I will say this. If this is the real life me finding Barney, I would get. F oh, wait, Next. No, wait, no, wait, no, no, no. It's the trust. No one, not even yourself, man. The guy has a gun pointing yeah. to his own head. But right. if, if it was my character, yeah, it would be a stump. Okay. The, the, the other fight is Gob. Okay, this is actually. Uh, I was not expecting this one. Goblin Slayer versus Aaron Yeager. Aaron Yeager should uh, fight Wander from, from Battle of Colossus. That's I'd, Aaron's fight. I'd actually argue that Goblin Slayer wins that one, purely because he literally has, unless he's, if he's literally got one drop of blood left in his body, he can keep fighting, no matter what Aaron tries to do, even if he goes Titan form. And I'm pretty sure yeah, Goblin I, I, Slayer I, I, has fought I, things that size I, I, before and won. Okay, I actually, I've actually argued like Goblin Slayer, like ha having that kind of power, but uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to try to keep this spoiler free from the manga. Aaron has... Transformed to something way, 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 way bigger. I think and as so, a like, Titan, I, yeah. I genuinely think Eren wins from a sheer AP stomp, just a side difference, and the fact the Goblin Slayer cannot re really hurt him in that kind of form. It, it it ultimately come down to if the Goblin Slayer can kill him while he's in human form, which, given how quickly the Goblin Slayer can cut people down, 
if he no, can no, just... No, 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 no. We would, throw, we would throw that argument out because if, we don't, if we're not letting characters fight at their best, then we may not as well have them fight at all. One of the best okay, parts it, about it, Eren is his maneuverability, it, 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 so not letting him start in human form is actually a bit of a nerf for him. Okay, like, okay, but so like, if this was pre Marley arc, Eren, just, just there could be an argument. But since we're we have to use him at the best, Eren completely god stomps that one. Yeah. Hmm. Literally. I'll give you that one because I've seen some really wacky bull in the manga, and I've not really and been paying much attention to it. And if, we, and if we got three more, we gotta like we gotta like really um fastball this one. Okay. So next, next one is from the one and only Hilda, Mr. Yay. Game and Watch, Mr. Game and Watch versus Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Never heard of it. I've heard of one of them, not heard of Oswald before. Uh, Sorry, Oswald's Hilda. From Epic uh, Oswald's from Epic Mickey. Okay, uh, I'm uh, gonna say Oswald. Oswald's the first. Oswald's the first Disney character who was originally Mickey. Also, that who is the original Mickey I... now. I personally do not know who exactly wins since I actually do not know these character, these two characters at all. But I'm gonna say Mr. Gaming Watch because 2D, haha. Oswald is the if Oswald's the original like OG 2D Mickey, then I'd actually argue Oswald because Oswald exists in the Kingdom Hearts universe. <laughs> oh God. No, it's really legit. It is legit. It is legit. <laughs> two different and, canon. And, and, uh, and, if we're, and if we're going with. And we're going with just, you know, normal and all that. I'm going to say Mr. Game & Watch because Oswald didn't, he didn't have too many feats in his old in his old Yeah. Mm -hmm. anyway, and it was moving on to the next one. Okay, Hilda, what the hell is the fight? Scrooge McDuck versus Ragnar. Ragnar? Is, Ragnar is in from uh, one of those games Blaze, that's in the whole... Blaze Blue. Blue crossed... Blue. You mean the guy with the Blaze, sword? Blaze, yeah, basically the guy's multiverse. <laughs> I'm not. I, I. I'm. I'm going to say the winner is the animator of that fight because they get paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> right. What the hell is What the hell? And if we, and if we got one more for the number nine, so we're making this really uneven. I don't like that. Um, it's this one from Shadow SSJ. This one is actually interesting. Pyra from Xenoblade Chronicles Two. Versus Natsu. Natsu from uh, fairy, fairy tale, fairy tale. Fairy, fairy tale guy. Natsu can literally turn into flames. I'm pretty sure that can make him give him an in. No, no, that it's Ace that does that, isn't it? Sorry, Natsu eats flames. Ace turns into flames. He eats flames. Pyra but, doesn't but, turn but. into flames though. Okay, no, but Pyra's not made out of flames, so it's not. It's not an eating thing. But. It's just a matter of flat durability, and I actually personally would advise that I think Pyra might actually have an edge in this one. No, just okay, for no, view. no. Okay, listen, Pyra alone. Pyra just is a stomp. Pyra alone. Pyra that stomp. that's not a word that you ever hear because Pyra is never alone. Her whole f thing is that she's merged with Mithra, and that she's part of something else bigger. It's literally her biology. You can't just go just Pyra because that's not possible. Okay, I, I, I'm I'm saying the character as a concept. Like, well, Pyra slash Mirtha, them together, them together alone doesn't really matter. They're just, they're one and the same. They they completely stop not to due to the the massive, absolutely massive AP gap and speed gap, plus the powers. They not to kind of do. Shit. Yeah, Pi Xenoblade Pyro. is insane. Xenoblade, Xenoblade is just Xenoblade's insane. busted. <clears throat> Anyways, those are the nine fights. So let's get on with topic two. Oh boy, I like this topic. Except I don't. I hate it. I hate it with a fucking fire. It took me a while to realize the creep is muted. I'm not sure why. I think he doesn't have an opinion. I think he's just either busy or he I doesn't have an opinion. I, yeah, I just don't want to create background noise. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, okay, fair. So, topic two is the dis <coughs> is the discussion on YouTube doing the trial run of disabling the dislike button, or well, not disabling the dislike oh, button, removing boy. the visibility of the dislike button. Sorry, I had to specify okay. that because YouTube does because YouTube keeps saying we're not removing the dislike button, we're just making it so you can't see it. Oh my god, scam Jeez. channels are literally getting the biggest buff possible here. Okay, okay, basically imagine YouTube telling you, hey, we're going to remove criticism in a particular way. Uh... No, no, no this, uh, they're only doing this because they, they just like the rewind. Ah. 
Yeah, I have a feeling uh, there's a conspiracy theory yeah. going around uh, YouTube uh, that they're just disabling it so that way annual rewinds, even though they can cancel doing it. <laughs> literally, they can cancel it completely. They can just remove the dislike button so that way they don't get dislike bombed. But Boy. essentially, the reason the reason that they give is that like they said they said dislike buttons being damaging to creators by giving some some kind of negative feeling on their videos. Especially with the case of bombings, but that's that's like that's like occurrences that happen when someone makes a rant on someone, and the fans decide to go for it, even though the creators say don't attack them. The only so time, like, the only time the, <clears throat> the, the dislike button is like really used, like it, it it like the most dislike videos, are like on YouTube are against big corporate entities, you know, and they're getting mass dislikes because it's the people telling them they don't like this thing. Yeah, I mean, the reason, it, the reason it is, it is that, that, that hold on, I need to go on a rant because like, I'm fed up with this bullshit. The reason that the 2018 rewind got this like it's not because we're, we're a bunch of racists and we don't like the diversity. It's because we don't like uh, YouTube giving up this this everything's fine when the site is in is in a terrible is in is in terrible condition right now and you're you're trying to hide behind this happy little mask. We don't like being lectured on LGBTQ rights by a company that doesn't even respect LGBT LGBTQ people. Oh boy. Personally, I think it's stupid. Literally, people are saying it's it's literally giving the biggest buff imaginable to scam channels. The dislike bar on those scam videos is literally the only way we can tell if we want to click off the video before we just waste our damn time. Because sometimes people oh, it's not them. It's not only them that are getting buffs. It's uh, big companies that are getting buffs, politicians that are getting buffs, and scam channels that are getting buffs. Because of an issue that rarely, rarely ever happens. The, the dislike bombing. It is, it is literally a one in a, one in a hundred thousand, in a, in a million, in a ten million chance that it happens. I think and, and you know, and you know what? When actually, when that actually does happen, it's usually because a content creator actually f up, and people are like trying to shame them for it, and pretty much telling them, "Yeah, we don't like what you did." Oh, it's, it's, it's I know all about that. that. I know it all be about by, that. It could be done, but it could be gone against corporate channels that are trying to take over because YouTube is, is kind of praised them, and we're telling them, "No, we don't like this," or. Or it's because someone makes a rant on someone and the fans are attacking for no reason. But that's like that's like the rare up That's like the rare chance. Like literally, YouTube YouTube announced this by saying, following community feedback. Literally nobody asked for this, and I feel like I'm no being told asked. this by somebody in Bar Sing Se. Okay. Like so, according following to com following community feedback, right. aka the people that give us money. Okay. Anyway. Money. I feel like okay. I I feel like uh, there's a. I, I want to recommend a video that would that just like, explains why dislikes are good for YouTube. But uh, there's this video by one of my favorite YouTubers, Emp Lemon, and he just he it's it's a video called "Why You Should Like This." Like it's it's such an amazing video. I've like, I've seen fun. the video. It popped up in my recommended. I, I was I pissed you. off at the time and I just watched it. So I was just I'm, I I can 100% agree with you. Yeah. Make sure you yeah. like. Make sure no, you no, press no, no. the like button so we know that you don't like. Or, or pr actually, no. Let's do this as a test. Press, press the, the dislike. dislike press, the, press, the, press the dislike button. Oh, no. <laughs> press the it's dislike button really to good. prove that the dislike love button is actually constructively. You actually no. Press the like button if you agree that the dislike button shouldn't be gotten rid of. Yeah, We're taking it a bit too far. Just like it if you agree with YouTube's decision, because uh, you know we'll, we'll just see how, like how how few dislikes there are. Yeah, we won't see any the because you know YouTube's disabling the algorithm, except positively. So even if whether they press the like button or the dislike button, it's going to have the same outcome. Uh, I, 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 oh yeah, okay. there's actually there's literally zero proof that the. That... Your video in the right, I'm gonna mention. Oh, no, it, oh. it does. It does affect it. It just affects it positively. Can I just say something oh, quickly also. for a second okay. without being interrupted? Do you know that very specific YouTuber I mentioned that I that I despise? He, as soon as this news broke out, he literally came out with a video saying how overjoyed it was he was that the dislikes are finally getting disabled and it's his most disliked video today and he hasn't even disabled it to prove a point can i okay can i can i please name bomb can i please name him because i know no 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 because if he, if we name bomb him 
then everybody else is gonna it the con the cycle is going to continue i don't despise his content i just despise the way he attacks his fans i despise the fact that whenever they say something he doesn't like he either just completely tries to show them up in public or disables their comments you, dis you despise him as a person oh oh he blocked he blocked me by the way that was that's, that's the funniest thing <laughs> Oh yeah, he pro he's probably gonna. I, I'm, I'm glad I'm not blocking. I'm, I'm. He, he's. Uh, I'm. Just like, stop bringing attention to him. Like it's. it's but like, no, I'm, I'm. I was just saying for irony. Literally, he's saying, "Oh, I like the fact that my vid that now, my for my mental yeah. health, my videos yeah, aren't gonna I get know, dislike know, bombed publicly know, anymore." Know, but, okay, but literally, this most general. disliked video. <laughs> I'm just I'm saying, general, it's ironic. Okay, okay I, I do want. I do want to say this. There's actually another huge negative effect. Say like, a, say like a content creator like makes a video, but it gets, a, it gets quite a few dislikes from the fans. That's a that's a bit of feedback from the fans on what they want and what they don't want. So taking that away, he kind of realizes how to he has to rely on the comment section, he or she, and that's not exactly reliable because usually okay. it's filled with random shit. Okay, here guys, this this is what you do if you get dislikes. Um, Learn from it. It's really simple. It's really simple. Hold on here. There you guys, don't talk to you It's really simple. So if you're getting dislikes, this is what you do. You improve your content! Get good! Okay, don't disable the damn dislikes and improve your content and the dislikes will go away naturally. You'll earn the- you'll earn likes. Earn I mean... Them. I mean, Rewind Rumble and Cartoon Fight Club always end up with positive likes. Unless we literally ask for dislikes. Because we actually care about our fans, we care about our content. No, no, it's not because we ask for them, it's because of the evil hate mob, guys. Yeah. We don't really and, have and anyone on our back. back. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, some it's, of them I, must have come from the, from the evil hate mob. They're evil cis white now. males. They're evil cis white males, creep. Don't you understand? Anyways, I think we've actually lingered Even on this topic. Even though I'm brown? Point being... Even though I'm a brown man? Point, point... No, 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 no. Right, we're, we're gonna end this. To, to, end, to end the subject, and also for a nice point for Rewind to cut to, in summary, Rewind... Get rid... Get rid... YouTube, getting rid of the dislike button is a very, 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 very bad idea. Okay? And watch Don't them, do it. And watch them on the series. Unless you are only doing this for the company. And companies. The bit, you know, the, the people that uh, are doing the all these Fallon. investments and so, stuff. Yeah, the Jimmy Fallons, the Jimmy Fallons, the Coca-Cola, the PepsiCo. You know, if you're only doing it for them, you can admit it! And, uh, and, uh, Employment also made a really good video, uh, fucking- Okay, uh, stop Jim plugging Allen. of a pe okay, stop plugging of a people creep, so, I'm yeah, just, rewind, okay, I'm just rewind, okay, okay, rewind, you can okay. either listen to the mass media companies who are suggesting you do this, or listen to literally 99% of your audience who are saying it's a bad idea and you should stop while you're ahead. What, why do you, why do you keep, why do you keep referring to YouTube as a rewind? So I, I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm tired. <laughs> look, I, we, we, look, we, look, we, look, 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 it's just that Warlord also, it was also incredibly hot last night because he's the <laughs> god and he, his heat oh, somehow caused global cool warming. Cool I don't I know, I, 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 I'm on about his body temperature was above average. I Not know, that he's I a know. fine human specimen, although <laughs> both count. I know. Anyway, no, I've, no. Got, I've, got a, I've got a big anyways, anyways, problem. If anyone knows how to turn down your internal temperature, please. DM me. I am <laughs> suffering over here. My bra- I can jump into a cold shower and by the time the water hits the- hits the drain, it's boiling. Help me, please! Anyway, so, moving on. Anyway, so like, we're, we're gonna go on this- on to- uh, sorry. We're gonna, um, continue on to the second half of the submissions. We have 18 in total, so this is the second half of the nine. And we're gonna continue with Shadow SSJ since we kinda of stopped there. Yeah. And uh fight is Ryuko versus Ruby. Oh look, it's Killer Kill again. I cannot express how much of a stomp that is. Yeah, Ryuko literally kills Ruby within the first five seconds of the fight. Do you just want Ruby characters to die? Might I recommend you go for something including Cinder so everybody can at least hold enjoy up, it? Hold up, hold up! I know okay. this person. 
they're the Eat ones toast. that uh uh on Steven Z killer streams they're the ones that name themselves Blake Belladonna because this person asked me that exact same fight are, are, are wow. they pretending to be Blake yeah, oh, Blake. I see oh, now. Right. They want they want somebody to animate the fights so that Ruby wins. Well, you know what? Yeah, but... Ruby wins the fight. Congratulations! Don't let anybody else tell you anything else. Totally, Ruby wins the fight. Don't doesn't she, guys? One hundred. It's a stone. Totally. It's a stone. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, listen, that cannon. Listen, in any in anyone's world, whether they're animating the fight or not, they can decide who wins and who loses. At the end of the day. Everything that we're doing is nothing more than expensive fan fiction. Moral of the story, Shadow, if you want somebody if you want to see Ruby beat the crap out of Rukio, commission Warlord to do it. Yep. Anyway, we're anyways, talking it'll be thirty bucks. Anyway, we're gonna continue on with oh Okay, go ahead. Benton, next one? Uh, okay, hold on, my my thing my my Discord froze again. Oh god, Not brilliant. Brilliant. Right. Actually, okay, wait, actually, oh wait, if I can hear you, that's good, okay. The yeah. next one is from... Oh my god, it's Goose. Goose. And okay. and uh, ju just as I say that, I just realized what his fight was. Otis versus Goku. Uh, Otis wins. Otis. Uh, I, I'm one of the biggest Dragon Ball fans, but I'm sorry. Otis's feats are just if, too much. I'm sorry, if you don't believe me, you can even ask Frank. He'll even admit that he can even, even Frank would admit that Goku loses. <laughs> Goku, Goku, Goku lit literally, Frank has a literal hate for Goku. Literally, it's his least favorite character. It's, it's almost, it, it, it's, it's, it's almost like he named himself after Goku in spite. TGF is typing. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Wait, what? No. Anyway, so um, the next fight. Okay, the next fight is Giorno Giovanna versus, you'll never guess it, Twilight Sparkle. Twilight has multiple instant win conditions right there. She can literally, she's got way too many instant win conditions to be able to lose. Sure, Giorno yeah, does have time manipulation, but I'm sorry, Twilight, he, he would need to understand how Twilight's powers work in order to directly contradict and stop it. And quite a lot of Twilight spells that are instant win conditions are touch contact. And Giorno would likely have to either dodge them, yeah, which by the way, Twilight has a f***ing range advantage due to the fact she can fly. Yeah, okay, but, okay, one, you're, you're, one, you're forgetting that G.E.R. Def is definitely, is definitely infinitely faster than Twilight Sparkle. But it's also the fact that he has the ability to manipulate casualty, cause and effect and all that. So he could literally put Twilight in, in an infinite loop, or, or in an infinite death loop. So like, with the moment GR's out, there's nothing Twilight can do to him at all. While true, while, while that's true, we would only ever be counting one of those loops. And if Twilight even wins remotely one of those fights, then technically she can kill Giorno before he can do one of these probabil probability loops. Okay, but uh, but like, let's say like these these two are on character. What how, how what, what is Twilight gonna really do in the start be before G um Giorno can ac activate GR? Which and can he has activated in the very start of a battle before? Analyze, adapt, <laughs> overcome, <laughs> dual bear grills. I don't have a f***ing clue. <laughs> Should probably get Pinkie Pie to help. He activated it. He activated it in reverse time. That means he said, huh, "I think I'm gonna activate this 15 seconds ago." Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So okay. So moving on to someone that we actually know, Hellfire Animations. H Hellfire. And huh? I I don't Hellfire know this person. Animation. He has animated for us before. Oh right, so it's some guy, somebody you guys know, but I don't. Oh, some guy. It's just some guy. Anyways, uh, um, so shut up, this, this one, this one, I'm actually not familiar with at all. But it's, it's Yuga Yuga from Crash Bandicoot versus Z-Bad from the Magic Roundabout. I have never heard of either of those two people. Huh. Assuming they're people, they could be animals. One of them's definitely an animal because it's uh. Crash Bandicoot. Would that make anyway, it a fairy? Uh, who, who won the Crash vs. Spyro fight? I think it was Spyro, um, right? no, Yeah, it was, it was Spyro. Okay, then, that, then I'm gonna say it was the, uh, the, uh... Who the I don't... Z-Bat. 
Right. See back from the Magic Roundabout. I have never heard of that. I've never really watched the rap map. I've watched or played whatever the hell it is. If it's a game or a TV show, I've never. I've never even. He I've heard of it. It's a movie. Yuko Yuko wins because that's the only character I know. Yeah. Yeah. He wins by default. By default. Anyway, the next fight is. You know what? I'm not gonna even say this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna randomly generate a fight because I have no idea who the hell these characters are. Right? Can you just so, say? Can you just say? Can you just say it in case one of us know it? Boyfriend versus Papa Rapper the rapper. Pa oh, I know these guys. Papa Rapper is one of the PlayStation All Stars rappers, like the weird dog guy that has the hat on him. And Boyfriend's yeah. the guy from Friday Night Funkin'. Literally, the guy who literally copies people's lyrics to beat them in rap battles. I think that's something more. I think that's more so something Creep would prefer for Cartoon Rap Attack, to be honest. Uh, oh, oh, that's who they are. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I have no idea about those, so I'm not gonna give my comment on that. Um, I'm, I'm surprised Creep is muted for this. Yeah. Imagine if Creep just realized now that he's muted and he, and he's been talking this entire. <laughs> he's going on a massive rant. <laughs> Anyways, we got next. We got oh god, it's Bonnie. Oh no, no. I'm skipping Bonnie. No, Bonnie. Uh, skip no, 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 no. Yeah, show mercy. He he's allowed his ideas. Let's hear them. Yeah. And if they're bad, yeah, we okay. can laugh at them. Okay, okay. Listen, listen. While he's allowed his ideas, I'd rather give him pain and and leave for the next podcast. No. Come on. Let's no, just do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna stand by my fellow friend of the anti god of our resistance. Do it. Fine. Hold on, hold on. I, I, I'm losing count of what I'm supposed to do. Fine. Okay. Fine. Oh, even. Oh, oh my God. Even his fights are so cringe. The imposter versus Monokuma. Creep. You're in charge of this one. Oh shit. Yeah. Um. Imposter be sus. Next. No, I'm here. I'm here. Right. Imposter yeah, versus Monokuma. Monokuma. No, the imposter what? be sus. The imposter versus Monokuma. <laughs> okay, okay, maybe maybe we should mute you next. Uh, Monokuma isn't sus, so. <laughs> True. So, um, continuing. I'm just gonna say I'm, I have lost complete track of this. Okay, so also, next is a weird, so interesting one. Shadinja versus Sans. What happens when somebody gets voted out? Shadinja versus Sans. Huh. So, so it, it should the, really the battle of the one e, but, you know, I think Sans wins. I, I think Shedinja wins. What well, uh, creep? Okay. Creep! We've moved past the damn fight. Just, just there. Well, then why didn't you ask me? Because, because. <laughs> okay, we asked you because it was on topic, but now we're off. We're off of it, but you were continuing for well, some. I was reason. trying to talk about it, and you just skipped without. You just skipped. Without no, we moved past it because we sensed you were about to go into the entire fucking lore of Monokuma, so we just wanted to get the fuck out of there as quickly as possible. <laughs> I was just oh. just <laughs> so, yeah, so, anyways. Um, Imposter loses! He got voted out! <laughs> anyway, Shedinja versus Sans, the battle of the 1 HP. Sans wins because he, he can actually um, ma manipulate his soul. I'm actually going to say Shedinja because he can literally only die to very specific types of which Sans can't use. Okay, 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 hold on. Okay, l let me um straighten this. Sans can can um, manipulate your soul and attack it. Attacking she didn't just doesn't. She didn't. She is the empty host listen, of the Pokemon listen, it listen, used to let be. Finish, let me finish. Let me no, finish. Let me finish. No, no, attacking, no, 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 no. Let me finish. Attacking the soul <laughs> is is basically a ghost type attack. So Sans can literally use a ghost type move and kill Shininja easy. Sans can attack the soul by not using a ghost type move by using bones, which is more ground type, which Shedinja can ignore. He doesn't, use, he doesn't use the bones to manipulate your soul. No, he, he literally he literally manipulates your soul and is able to th throw it around and you take damage from it. So that yeah. alone, that alone will kill Shedinja. Actually, the throwing around of bones never actually reduces your HP below one. I've tried it, but I ended up getting to that phase on one HP. So, plus then he plus then he's got the blue bones. Determination and blue bones, yeah. The blue bones can actually attack your soul, so he's attacking the soul, the soul directly. And you can, unless oh, it that's doesn't. Hurt. The funny blue. thing is, that's the funny thing bad. is, the funny thing is, right? It doesn't hurt you if you stand still, which Shedinja usually does. 
floating. Uh, no, no, he flows, he levitates, he's moving. Ghostly? Meaning that technically it's different. I keep on, I keep on losing kind of warm stuff as we. Honest to God, I so, could argue okay. that Shedinji could win all day. <laughs> okay, so, no. okay, so next, next one is from 22 Kingdom Hearts fan. My boy. And, and, and one of the fights he requests is Tommy from the Power Rangers versus Ryu. They've both been Ryu. in the exact same content before because Ryu actually okay. became the Ryu Ranger. It's okay, it's a legit so, thing. Okay, so the, the, the Power D fan. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and but, I, I don't know I don't know who wins that one, but if, if Tommy doesn't have anything like planetary, I'm pretty sure he loses. I think Tommy does stand a chance, but it might still be close. Because he has I bought mean, some really powerful not, this, shit before. This is not using the mechs, obviously. Tommy literally has multiple different ranger forms he can go into. Some of which have spiritual powers. Like literally the fact that he was able to exist without a physical body. Uh, right? Half of why you sh**? My spirit is blah blah blah. Yeah. Talk is talk is cheap. We fight. I I I, I think I think I think Tommy wins because Ryu cashed out and went to Fortnite. You <laughs> you say that in the next week, Power Rangers are gonna be in Fortnite. Watch. Technically, yeah, there was a giant you, you robot fight. Technically, there was a giant that. robot fight. You should have said that. They're writing that down as we speak. They're getting ready to <laughs> buy the license. It's, it's, it's like you're watching our podcast and like, write that down, write that down. You realize I play Fortnite and that would actually be amazing, right? And anyway, so the, la the last fight we're going to be talking about since the ninth one is going to be, it's going to be, um, once again, I have lost myself. This this one's actually super interesting. The Wander versus Reggie Gigas. The who? Okay, I, I might be pronouncing it wrong, but you know, you know the the one character from Shadow of Colossus. The Wanderer. Yeah, the, the Wanderer versus Roger Gigas. Isn't that the guy that roams and is the one you actually have to track down, rather than it being in a key location? N no, 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 no. The the Wanderer is the is the one that kills the Titans. The or Colossus. The the Wanderer is the Colossus that kills Colossi. No, no. The Wanderer is the is the character that kills the Colossus. It's the protagonist. Yeah, the protagonist. Ooh! So basically, so, it basically it is the Colossus Slayer versus an actual Colossus from the Pokemon series. The question is though, that that that, that doesn't. I mean, it's an interesting idea, but honest to God, the it moment the moment the moment Regigigas' slow start wears off, he's dead. He's dead. He's screwed. It's more of a speed run. It's an any percent so, speed so, yeah, run. The question is, <laughs> trying to speed can run. kill him before it runs out. Well, it I doesn't. Can say that I would say right now, absolutely not. No. Reggie Gigas. Well, how long, like, does, it take, how like, long does it take him to kill other t uh, Colossus? Uh, it takes quite a bit. He, he, he's he's got to climb. He's pretty slow. He's got to find the particular weak points, and he's like he's got to like stab at the right time to do enough damage. Isn't Reggie? Doesn't Reggie Gigas a lot smaller than most of them? Yes, but Reggie Gigas also has the power I to think. move around continents with its bare hands. I'm pretty sure with I, that I dense of yeah, muscles. I'm trying, I'm trying to help this dude out. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Let me see how tall Reggie Gigas is. Reggie Gigas is what the fucking in height. He's small, what the hell? Yeah, and because he's smaller, muscle density will be much tighter, meaning that stab, stab, stab won't work as easily. I mean, I mean, it, I took down, I mean it took down some titans, so... I... How... Oh. It's actually bigger in the anime, I think. I think, yeah, I think, in, I think in the anime he's actually bigger, because, like, the, what I'm looking at right now, is this, it's the same thing that, that says that fur is, like, 5 foot 11. In length, maybe. Yeah, okay. in, in length of Jesus. <laughs> okay, um... Well, I mean, that's not a whole lot longer than actual ferrets. Okay. Some ferrets. Can the four of us um, announce who are the two most known Pokemon fans in this group of people right now? Me. And me. And uh, I, I say... say uh, Regigigas completely takes it. Regigigas, t yeah. Even if it's only half his power, half the power it takes to tow around a continent. Need and, I... and then like what and then once the, and once he's like out of that slow star, he is genuinely fast. Like literally, I've seen people take advantage of skill swap consist skill swap strategies to literally get him out of that 
think to get it out of that first, and it was actually in the categories where you were allowed to use legendaries. That was actually a legitimate meta strat. Absolutely, oh, yeah, absolutely. That was a scary meta strat as well, by the way. I've literally went against them in casual onlines. I could barely beat them, and then I had to worry about the rest of their <laughs> team. And if they're going, yeah. and if and if they're combining it with a Pokemon like Slowking, Slowking's bulky as, <laughs> as well. Once it wears off for Slowking. You're worse, because Slow King's also pretty f***ing busted. <clears throat> Not as busted. You know, you know, actually, like, the skill swap strategy with a huge power or a pure power Pokemon, that is terrifying. Yeah. Also, using skill- also using skill swap on a slacking is also f***ing scary. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, trying to ask. Oh. Anyway, so like, I, anyway, so I, anyway, since we, uh, we got those fights done, we should talk about uh, the last discussion, which is a bit more wholesome. Yeah, we've been a bit negative today. Well, we've been negative due to the second subject. Now we get to talk about something we actually like, and I already know what Creep's going to talk about. So, 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 uh, hold on, let, let me see this one. We're gonna we're gonna be talking about the games that we've played in, in our childhood or in recent times that we've absolutely loved and hold on a high pedestal, either through nostalgia or just general quality of the game. So basically, is one is, it could be one of our favorite games, if not our favorite video games of all time. Hmm. So, who wants to start? Warlord! Hey, thank you for volunteering! Hell! <laughs> oh, <laughs> of course. Alright, a game that I hold in high regard because it was my first video game. The original Pokemon Red. Uh, now, this. Good taste. That game, uh. I, I can remember it. I was three years old when I first got my Game Boy and first got the game. Uh, we got, uh, me and my brother, we both got a bunch of games. Like, they were just a bunch of Game Boy games that were put into a plastic baggie. And uh, Pokemon Red was the one that I liked to play. And I remember the first uh, few months that I was playing it, I got stuck in Viridian Forest. What? And it, and it freaked me out because I'm seeing all of these, what are supposed to be trees, but I'm thinking they're like some kind of demonic statues. So for like two or three months, I'm stuck in this forest. I'm hearing the creepy music. I'm seeing just nothing but bugs come out. And I'm just like, well, I don't know how to get out of here. Keep in mind, I was three. I mean, like, okay, okay, fair enough for that age. Yeah. I mean, at that age, I made all my Pokemon HM slaves, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in, my, in, in, that, in that age, I was not really introduced to Pokemon, but also the, the, the type of app you get a legendary and still, yeah, make him an HM slave, but also catch pro worthless Pokemon in a Master Ball. Oh, yeah, all the don't way get up me until started. 11 or 12, I continued playing that game even when the other games came out and I was able to get them. Uh, I kept playing it until its save battery eventually <laughs> went out. Wow, that's a yeah. lot of playtime. You could probably do you even do you still even own that cartridge, or did you bin it because it stopped working? Uh, yeah, I think I think I tossed it out a little bit ago because it and because it just wouldn't save or anything. You realize you can replace those that batteries, was the time right? That I finally got Mew. I don't. Oh, I know the glitch to get Mew, that is amazing. And there's a way to get it shiny if you have a specific trainer ID too. I, I, imagine going back in time, like back to 1998 and performing the Mew glitch. You pretty much are going to be sh surprising everyone. Oh, I wish I had the power to go back in time and do that kind of sh Right, I go back in time and I show people, hey, I've got a hey, challenge. Time. I bet, it's like I go, to, I go to my friends and we literally go, we sit down and we play Pokemon until one of us beats it. The winner gets, we each pop down 20 pounds. Say there's about six or seven of us, that's like 140 quid. The winner takes it. Yeah, Jaden Animations and uh, Alpha Red did that recently. <laughs> yeah, they, oh, yeah. no, that, that was Ruby, Sapphire, and that was Ruby, that was Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. And it was randomized, I think. Yeah. Was it, yeah, it was randomized, because because he ended up with a hit on top. Um, yeah, anyway. Boy. Those so, glitches so, were amazing. 
So, so um, Brie, what what is one game that you hold super high on a pedestal? I'm Star not. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, Creep's going first. I insist. Okay, Creep. Thank you. Thank you for volunteering. You want me to talk about my favorite game? If yeah. it's as long as it's not Monokuma. I mean, I'm not gonna talk about Danganronpa. Like, as much, I I only like Danganronpa for the characters. The game kind of the game itself is kind of. Ass. He admits it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything yeah, uh, he said is I'm gonna, on. Be, All right. I'm gonna be talking about Team Fortress. 2. <laughs> here. Oh yeah, Team Fortress Two is I. It's it's fucking great, dude. It it's a it's a it's a base. It's basically a first person shooter sandbox and the shooting game. It's a shooter game that doesn't take itself seriously at all. You know, like what, what other game can you can you beat someone to death with a frying pan and then start a conga line at, ex immediately after? It depends. Wait, 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 Are you, do you live in Karusha and do you play p and do you play PUBG? Wait, what yes, that's the thing. What are you talking about? I ended up cutting off. Well, that's your internet because they can hear me fine. Yep. No, no like, like for a moment I cut off. They're on about Team know. Fortress Two. Oh. But yeah, they're. It's, yeah, it's a very pretty. So many game modes. That Left 4 Dead Two is one of them. It's such. It's so laid. It's just really laid back. Unfortunately, the game is being ignored by Valve right now, because uh, there's a, people think it's really funny to add uh, bots with uh, immediately one-shot kill aimbot, because that's really funny, guys. Guys, I'm ruining everyone else's fun. It's so funny. Yeah, it's hilarious. How many gold? Actually, if you're able to make a bot like that and they can't, uh, and and the company is not coming after you, like. At that point, that's just kind of a. Eh, you don't want to do nothing about it. It's pretty frustrating when you want to, you know, hop in a game for a few minutes, and you you literally have to keep leaving and joining for like almost ten times till you get one. It doesn't have mm -hmm. bots. Well, okay, well, okay, well, not not. Okay, correction. One that isn't a, uh, you know, that doesn't that only has a bot pop up every now and then until everyone votes kicks them, and then. Then the game is normal again. Hmm. All right, all right. So, Britt, what about you? Uh, Are you seriously saving yourself for last? Because I'm special. No, you go first. Okay, okay, fine. But I will say this: at, at most, you can say two games. Okay, do not make a huge list. I'm not making a huge <laughs> list. There's one game I really want to talk about, and I'm gonna. <laughs> Listen, I'm in the same ballpark as you, okay? Alright, shut up, just say your game. <sighs> Fine. In, in my case, it's really hard to separate nostalgia from actual quality. Because when it comes to my what my favorite game is from nostalgia, it, it is Pokemon, like the entire Pokemon series, and specific Pokemon Platinum. But one game that actually does actually transcend to quality and nostalgia, since I've been a fan of, of the actual series for a long time, my favorite video game of all time will have to be Nier Automata. Like for dead right. sure. Cause it is. Y yeah, you know I know you know I never shut up about it, and there's a good damn reason for it. Yeah. Trust me, guys. The... He 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 he. Plays that game. From the story, characters, plot, the world building, the 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 philosophy, the, philosophy, the themes, it's all just amazing. And and when I when I played the first Nier game, all of this really deep in my head. But when I, when I replayed them as an adult, it has struck me. And I just love the series so much because of it. Wait, you're an adult? Yes, I am not a 12 year old warlord. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, no! <laughs> anyway. But essentially, essentially, when it comes to my favorite games, Nostalgia Factor would go to Pokemon, but for, for like a more general quality and a bit of Nostalgia, it has to go to Nier Automata for sure. Never heard of it. I've you should play it. it for sure. You should absolutely play Warlord. I'll buy it for you even. <laughs> Let him play Persona first. Let him play Persona 5 first. God, what um, is this? <laughs> fine. Also, I love Persona, so continue. So now, Brit, we saved the best for last for some reason. Go ahead. So, I have, as as Fintan said, I have two games that I particularly like. It was always going to be two games, thankfully. So, Fintan, you actually kind of saved me from having to have to pick between a childhood memory and another childhood memory. The first one is the one that I'm going to say is my first ever memory of playing a video game, and that's Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. 
I remember days sat in my living room with my dad where he used to carry me through that game and I remember spilling my juice cup all over that GameCube and he went out to buy me another one just so he could keep playing it with me. I love that game, I've never made it past the first world ever on my own, but I love that game. I've beaten it myself on my own, now in my adult life, and it's just the music, the art design, the graphics, the gameplay, it is one of my favourite childhood games. And as for my second game, in my childhood I had a massive thing for Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, but I, well, for Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. But I never actually owned the game and I used to play it on emulation. And then Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out. I got, I got Alpha Sapphire and the nostalgia hit me with a wave so big that it's hit me to this day and it's constant it's just solidified my reason why I play Pokemon. It's it's indistinguishable. It's like making one of the best damn tasting cakes in the damn world, making your favorite homemade food as a child. You get served it you constantly ask for it, you got served it, and then when you come back from university, you come home and your parents, knowing you want comfort food, make you that exact same dish souped up to meet your modern standards, rather than your childhood standards. And it just overwhelmed me when that game came back out, because I f***ing loved it. Don't forget, it, on top of the cake, the frosting says easy mode. No, no, okay. I don't care if the game was easy. I don't give a damn if it, I was, if it, was, for, if it was easy enough for everybody to play. I loved that game. And even if you say it's easy mode, even if you go on record for saying it's not even that good of a game, I will argue with you until you just give up and let me f***ing win. Because I will not let anybody speak blasphemy about my precious child of a game. That is literally my childhood. My time spent- th those two games are literally my childhood wrapped up into two games that I've still played to this day. I've literally run Nuzlocke runs on my Ruby Sapphire. Ruby profile to the point where I accidentally deleted one of my saves and I felt so bad because I had so many level 100 mega Pokemon that I purposely grinded multiple times through the Elite Four just in my bed overnight as my parents were asleep me sneaking on it under my covers. I remember the vivid memories of that game from a few years from like four or five years ago and I still I still go back and play it with fond memories even to this day with a catchless run and I kind of ruined feelings towards the game because now it's actually difficult. <laughs> you know, actually, I, I, I actually do the same thing with Pokemon Platinum even to this very day. I still have the cartridge with me and it still works. So whenever I feel like I just want to reset the game, I'll reset it and I'll play through the entire game again because it's, if just, you, it's just a part of my life. I recommend you do it catchless at one point because that is an entirely different experience. It will make I, a hard have, game even I harder. Have done, I have done every challenge imaginable and I've managed to beat it all the time. I've even done, I've even like managed to like run the game up and do like a Pichu solo run. Hmm. Alright. So that yeah. Was hard. Pokemon Omega Ruby is literally the embodiment of my childhood come back to remind me of why I love Pokemon so much. I've continued with, I've continued with it to Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield have easily become one of my top three favourite games purely because I love the Pokemon that ended up coming back and I loved the way that the region actually worked and the story, but Rube Omega Ruby cannot be topped. I am sorry. But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, it has too much water, so 7.8 out of 10. Creep, creep, no. IGN! He joined IGN! Creep is IGN now. No. And my heartfelt message got ruined by Creep trying to do a funny. That's a nice way to end up on the podcast. Hey, That's a great hey, way. Hey, you didn't let me do my thing. You didn't let me finish mine. Finish you, 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 you just stopped talking, and we just continued. Well, because, because I, I was trying to think of words for what I was saying. Anyway, Don. guys, since that's the subject, done with now. Let him continue unfinished. No. Sorry. Nah. I don't feel like it. So. Given that I don't really have much time left because I got to go get going soon, I think we should end the. I think we should all end the podcast here. First of all, I would like to give a massive thank you to everybody who helped out with the podcast day, and a massive thank you to everybody who suggested matchups to go into this episode. As we've said, I'm pretty sure we got 36 different. I think I'm pretty sure we got 
18 people who requested matchups, but we only got through nine. Next podcast, we will have Rewind and Frank and whatever whoever else comes, or just us again, go through those episodes themselves and come up with their own opinions. But since that's not this episode, I think we should wrap it up. First of all, I'd like to give a thank you to Warlord, Finton, and Creep for all appearing. Yosh! Especially, especially Finton for finally showing up and us almost have and saving me from the saving me from having to convince Frank to join us. I'm gonna get censored again. No, 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 Sorry. no. It's, it's I'm not gonna. Oh, for God's sake! If if this episode if this episode is less than an hour, um, if this episode somehow ends up being less than an hour, I'm gonna be amazed. <laughs> there is no way it'll be less than an hour. Like absolutely no way. Yeah. Right. Right. So. I would like to thank these guys for showing up. I want I want to thank myself for somehow convincing myself to put put up with with half of the rants Showing that happened in this episode. He's a tyrant! <laughs> and I would like to thank everybody who watched the video for watching the video because you know words happen please. I need to actually end this video. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a nice day. <laughs>